Uh, what's up family, this is Brother Adam, and in today's video, I'm going to be exposing the demonic spirits of Thug and Diva. I'm also going to be going into the history of where these words came from. Where, where in the world did, the, did these names come from? And also, I want to speak about my personal testimony of how, of how this, these lies nearly destroyed my life, this destructive lifestyle that God brought me out of, and I'm here to preach the truth today. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it with a friend. Because this, this knowledge needs to go out there. The, the Word of God says, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. And right now there's a lack of knowledge. There's so many lies in the world. That's why so many people are perishing. They're dying at an early age. I personally, I have so many friends that I grew up with, walked side by side with, that didn't make it. They're not here today. They're in the grave. They're dead because they were following this destructive life. They thought it was all fun. They thought it was cool. But I'm here to tell you, it's not cool. It's a lie. It's a lie. So there's many lost souls today. You can look at the youth. You can see it. You can see the bag, the, the bag and sagging pants. You can, you can see the, the disrespect towards the parents. You can see the lack of, of work ethic. Um... You can see the pride. It's all over the, the world. Why? Because there's a lack of mentors. There's a lack of knowledge. So, so I'm here to expose that. And I'm here to set the captives free. Because at one time, I was chained up in this demonic lifestyle. And God set me free. He brought me out of the darkness into the light. And many of my friends as well were caught up in that life. And now they're living a godly and prosperous lifestyle. And you can too. I don't know, I don't know, somebody out there, maybe you have uh, family members or friends that are caught up in this, you know what I mean. And I have compassion on them because I know, I know, I know where this stems from. It stems from a fatherless house. 99% of the time, the dad wasn't around or if the dad was around, he was just checked out. He wasn't, he wasn't leading the family like a man is supposed to. And, and. A lot of this, it, it, it comes from single moms. They try to do their best. But I, like, I was at the, the doctor's yesterday and I saw a young man with a Death Row t-shirt on. And the Death Row is like a, a rap label from back in the day. And it has a man on an electric chair as a symbol. And I'm like, man, this is just demonic. It seems so cool because they try to make it look cool like Snoop Dogg, all the rappers. And so we follow it because people are looking for something to look up to. They're looking for leaders and the media and the, the demonic entertainment puts these people on blast. They put them on the big screen in the movies and we're being exposed to it. That's why it's so important what we watch, what we, what we allow our minds to take in. So for me growing up, my dad was a great man, but... Honestly, I was looking, I was looking for, for identity. I was looking for who I was. I didn't know who I was. So I, I got the Nas albums. I got the Jay-Z albums, the, the um, Bone Thugs and Harmony. We were looking for identity. He sounded cool. It was in the culture. And now I'm just figuring out most of these rappers were father, fatherless rappers. They hated their dads. Biggie hated his dad because his dad wasn't around. And we worship Biggie. His, he, everyone wears his t-shirts. They have his pictures on the wall. We worship these guys. And these guys are destroying lives. And, and mine, mine was one of them. Thank God I'm not dead. Thank God I got out of the pit where I came from. Because it seems cool for a season. Oh, yeah. Want to be a thug. And the, and the music draws you in. But next thing you know, you're in jail. And who's going to bail you out? It's not going to be these rappers. Listen, these rappers are, are modern day worship leaders. They're preachers. They, when Eminem is a dangerous man or, or anybody who, who raps the, the young baby, little thug, they're dangerous people because they are worship leaders. They're, they're, they're ushering people into the presence of demonic activity. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit where these words stem from. Listen, the word thug. Back in the day, it was Trick Daddy, baby, because I'm a thug. And we thought that was so cool, we would sing it. And guess what? As a man thinks in his heart, he becomes. 
So as we're listening to this worship music, we're becoming like it. We start to act like it now. Even me, I came from a suburban neighborhood. And now, now I want to be a thug. Now I want to sell drugs. Where is this coming from? It's coming from the influence. That's why it's so powerful. Somebody was asking me yesterday, well, I listen to secular music, but I just worship God with it. How can that be? We're called to be set apart and separate. I don't even mess with secular music no more because that is, that is a fine line. Even if you change the lyrics to try and fit, fit God's agenda, that's a no-no. There's no mixture in the kingdom of God. And the word thug, I want to talk about this. It's, it's derived from the word thug e, which is a Hindu word, or thag, which means deceiver or swindler. Now, the, the thuggies back, back in the Hindu days... From, from the thir mid 1300s to the late 1800s was an organized criminal gang that was estimated that, that they're responsible for over 2 million deaths. They used to kidnap people and murder people for fun. And this is where the word thug derives from. Words are powerful. Words are spirits. God spoke the, the earth into existence by the spoken word. Words, words carry weight. Oh, well, it's just a song. It's just music. You know, it's just for fun. But listen, th these things be become, what we speak, we become. There's power in the tongue. And, and thugs, they considered themselves servants of Kali. Kali was a, was a Hindu god. If you ever seen that ugly god with like, seven arms and, and, and dead men's head, heads around her neck as a necklace, uh, stepping on somebody's face. This is, this is the god Kali, and this is, this is what um, the thugs were serving, demonic gods. And when you, re when you call yourself a thug, you're relating yourself to demonic activity. You're opening up spiritual doors. Listen, I have so many friends that they started off cool, like innocent people. I'm a thug, da da da. Now, next thing you know, they're on the streets, they're prostituting, they're shooting up with needles over and over again. That's why I have nothing to do with the works of evil. I have nothing to do with it. Oh, I'm just going to go to a Snoop Dogg concert. I'm a Christian. Listen, you, you, you don't need to be anywhere near, near that unless you want to open up some type of doors that are going to bring destruction into your life. So listen, it's not cool to be a thug. I'm going to talk about it. Let's talk about a diva. What did, what did Beyonce say? She said, uh, diva is the female version of a hustler. Listen, no. Don't follow Beyonce. You want to follow Beyonce? You're going to follow Beyonce right to the pits of hell. These people are worshiping demonic gods. They don't even know it. They sold their soul to the devil. And they have th millions of followers that are on that path. Thank God Kanye West got brought out of the pits of hell. And, and he's a Christian now. He's a man of God. And he preaches the word. He's, he, he does worship concerts that, that point people to Jesus. He's pointing people to the light. And I'm praying for more of these rappers that are leading millions to, to have born-again experience. I just saw another guy. I think his name is Bunky or something. He used to do spoofs on YouTube. He just got delivered. And I'm praying for more of this. There's an awakening right now that people are coming out of this lie. Because, listen, it's all fun and games, getting high, da 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 da, da until, until, until you're, you're in bondage. So the word diva means demon. The word diva means demon. Diva equals divine. The divine. What is the divine? It's, it's, it's godly. It's spirits. Diva are spirits used in witchcraft and occult. That's why a lot of people, they need to be delivered from these evil spirits. I'm here to talk about it today. Share this with a friend. I'm telling you, you need to share this because people need to be aware of this. So we can raise our children the right way. So we can teach the youth, hey, you don't want to go this way. You don't want to be a thug. All right? You don't. Biggie got shot. Tupac got shot. These were modern day martyrs for no reason. And they're going to hell. Let's talk about it. So the first encounter in, in the word of God with, with the spirit of diva was in Acts 16, 16. I want to share this. Now what happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with a spirit of divination. There it is. Diva, divination, met us who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, these men are the servants of the most high God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. Yet, yeah, Demons even know the spirit of God and they tremble. 
And this she did for many days. But Paul, greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. Listen, I'm commanding right now these evil spirits that are troubling the youth to come out of these youth, that these youth will be delivered in this day. And it says he came out, the spirit came out that very hour. But when her master saw that their hope of profit was gone, pay attention. They seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities. Her masters were mad. Why? Because this woman was being controlled by evil spirits that were using witchcraft to gain profit from, from, the, from the poor and innocent people. And that's what's happening today. These spirits are controlling these rappers, these movie stars. And they're getting profit from us for, for, for wicked gain. To deceive the nations. Oh, it sounds so good. It's it's this is a good song. But if you actually sit down and break down the lyrics, it's talking about glorifying self, glor uh, putting others down, bragging, pride, everything that the word of God speaks against. And we're being drawn in with these hypnotic beats and we're being rocked to sleep. It's time to wake up out of our slumber and take up our sword and take up our identity of who we truly are. And it's not a thug or a diva. It's not a goon. It's not a gangster. Not a cowboy. It's not any of those things that, that the world tells you you should be. Oh my gosh. So, so, so diva is a female goddess or a woman that is worshipped. These divas want to be worshipped. They, they wear revealing clothing. They prostitute themselves out on Instagram for likes. They prostitute themselves out on um, that, that new website. I don't even know what it's called where people pay to watch these women um, prostitute. Listen, do you, you don't want to be a diva. Woman, any, any woman watching this right now, any girls watching this, listen, you're, you're worth way more than that. You don't, don't devalue your self-worth. You're worth way more than that. God bought you at a high price. He created you in his image. Not to be a diva. Woman, don't, don't prostitute yourselves. Don't compare yourselves to a diva. Listen, they say, oh, the divas, they got it going on. And that's how they portray them in the music videos. The divas that are dancing around. Um... The thugs that, that have all the money and they portray this, oh, they got it going on. So now these young people are looking up to this and they say, I got to do whatever I have to do. I'll share my personal testimony that I sold drugs for no reason just because I wanted all the money. I wanted the jewelry. I wanted to have it all. I wanted to be like the people I saw in these rap videos. And I was highly deceived of what I was seeing behind that screen because it's not a reality. And I'm telling you, woman... Uh, woman, any woman that's watching this right now, what you want to be is not a diva. You want to be a Proverbs 31 virtuous woman. Read that verse in the Bible. Who can find a virtuous woman? Men, you should be looking for a virtuous woman. You don't want a diva. She'll destroy your household. She'll destroy your reputation. Woman, you don't want a thug. You don't want a goon. Oh yeah, well I love bad boys. Well, you're gonna be writing him in prison. He's not gonna be around for your, for your sons and your daughters. He's not gonna be around to see the graduation because he's gonna be locked behind his cell or he's gonna be six feet in a casket. This is a reality. Woman, you want a man of God. You want a kingdom man that stands up for righteousness, that will lead his household in the way of the word, in the way of Christ, in the kingdom. This is what we need right now. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for less. Keep seeking God. To be a thug is not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool. And it starts with, it starts with our, our language how we speak. It starts with what we take in in our mind. We got to start changing the way we think. And this, I, like I said, is a very sensitive video because I've lost so many friends to these lies because people just didn't know who they were. I have friends now, I see them and they're like, well, Adam, you changed. And I'm like, well, you haven't. And I have compassion on them because they're still stuck in the same mindset of high school, of getting high and turning up on the weekends. And, and, and the spirit of poverty 
They're never growing up out of it. I even see men of God lately re revert back to this. Don't backslide back to this mind state. We should be going from glory to glory. We're called to be kingdom citizens. We're called to be righteous, a royal priesthood, a ch children of the king. And I'm just saying, it's time to, for the captives to get set free, to be delivered from this bondage, and to walk in their true identity. I want to share this verse. It's found in, it's found in the book of John. It's found in the book of John. And it, and it basically says, those who God calls, who believe on him, and as many as has received him, he gave the right to become children of God, of those who believe in his name. I'm telling you today, whoever's watching this, you were made in God's image. You have a purpose. You have a high calling on your life. God knew you before you were in your mother's womb, from the foundations of the world. And your purpose in life is not to be a diva, a thug, or anything that society says you should be. You were called to be great. You were called to be righteous. You were called to be noble. You were called to make an impact in this world. You were called to shine the light of God. And I'm telling you right now, it's available. All you got to do is, is, is repent and turn. Repent, Lord, I'm sorry for my wicked ways. Father, forgive me. I was deceived, Lord God. But now I know the truth. The word says they shall know the truth and the truth shall set them free. You're hearing the truth today. That God came to the world. He came into the world. He left heaven's throne. He came in flesh. Showed us how to live this life. Then he died for us and he left his, his spirit. We don't want demonic spirits. We want the spirit of God. We want the Holy Spirit residing in us so we can conquer sin, so we can live a prosperous life, so we can do the Father's will. And when he comes back, he'll be ready to receive us because he's coming back soon. And he's not coming back for a diva or a thug, but he has mercy. And the purpose of mercy is not so we can continue to live as we please. The, the purpose of mercy is, is repentance. And right now, the state of the world and the nation is because of ungodliness and wickedness, and we're reaping what we've sowed. And now it's time for, as a nation, as individuals, to turn back to God. Listen, he's calling out for us. His grace and mercy is great. He changed my life. I was caught up in this lie, and he set me free. I remember just sitting there listening to these songs and in my room or riding and I was taking on that identity and, and, and it, was, it deceived me for so many years. I stopped listening to that music. That's when things really started to change. I stopped listening, I stopped watching the TV and I started filling my mind with good things, with good books, with, with things that will, will elevate me and not bring me down. I never thought I'd be a mentor. I never thought I'd be in the position I'm in. But God is good. And this was the plan that he had for my life. From way before, even when I was in that wickedness, he knew. I have, he, he told me one day, 2 o'clock in the morning, son, I have better plans for your life. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're caught up in this, God has better plans for your life. So God bless you, everybody. I wanted to share this nugget. Share this with a friend because somebody needs to hear this.